Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Mexican rice and bean skillet in the Copper Chef XL. Alright guys, I'm starting out here in my Copper Chef XL I have preheating. And I have a pound of Italian sausage that's in its casings. You could also use chorizo for this, but I really don't care for chorizo, so I'm just using uh, Italian sausage. I'm going to take the sausage links out of their casing, get them into the Copper Chef, and I'm going to brown them up and break them up. And then when I get done with, with that step, I'll bring you guys back for the next step. Alright guys, now that my sausage is brown and I pulled it out and set it aside for just now, I'm going to add in one cup of water, one cup of instant rice, and make sure you use instant for this guys. I'll shake. All right, I have two fresh tomatoes that I diced up. I'm going to add them in. And if you want to use canned diced tomatoes, you can do that, but only put a half a cup of water in rather than a whole cup because you have to compensate for the juice that the tomatoes are packed in. So I'm going to get those down in there. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of cumin in here. I'm going to put two teaspoons of chili powder in here. And as usual, I'm just eyeballing, guys. I'm going to add some salt in here, and this is optional. I'm going to go for about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give this a stir. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I almost forgot. I forgot my head if it wasn't screwed on. I'm going to add in two cups of frozen corn. cover this, bring it up to a boil, and then reduce my heat down to a simmer and let this simmer for five minutes until everything's heated through and that rice is cooked. And this corn will put off uh, some liquid as it thaws. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, my five minutes are up, my rice is tender, and most of the liquid is absorbed. I'm going to add my sausage back in there. And I have a 15 and a half ounce can of pinto beans that I drained and rinsed. They're going to go in. And I'm just going to heat this over the medium heat so uh, the beans and the sausage are one through. I'm not going to cover this at this point. Okay, now that that went for about two minutes just to heat everything through, I have some Mexican style shredded cheese here. I'm going to put a generous coating on the top of our casserole here, or our skillet. And my heat's turned off. I don't need the heat on anymore. Okay, now I'm going to put my lid back on here and let this sit for about five minutes until that cheese melts and then this will be ready to go. Alright guys, this is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, I'm going to finish this up by garnishing with a little fresh shredded lettuce. Just for freshness. You could also add fresh tomato on top if you like. All right, let me get in there and give this a try, guys. Start with some of that sausage with that cheese on it. It's really good. Cheesy. Try some of that corn and beans. Mm. Corn still has a little bit of a crunch to it, but no way it's undercooked. Get a little lettuce in there. This adds a nice texture with a good freshness to it. Alright guys, there you have it. Mexican rice and bean skillet in the Copper Chef XL. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see ya.